Okay, so we've finished the heel here. As you can see, it's uh, it's turned. Um, all those short rows back and forth created a turn in the heel so that it goes straight this way and then goes curves that way. So um, I did both, uh, let me turn this around correctly here, but I did both uh, the teal sock and the orange sock. So I'm at the end here um, and uh, I'm going to knit across here and then start picking up the stitches along the gusset. going to start working on the gussets. So how to do this, you see each of the slip stitches along the edge, I run the needle through sideways like that and then knit onto it. So, so I put that needle through, knit through, stitch on. There's one. Three, and then we're going to go all the way down. able to pick up 13 stitches along the edge here. Um, I got the 17 stitches here and the 13 st stitches on this side. So when I come around uh, the other way, when it, uh, after I do this sock, uh, I'm going to come around this way and then I'll start picking up 13 stitches along this edge. So now I know that it's 13 stitches, so I'll, I will bring this over here and start picking up uh, 13 stitches on this side. Well, actually first I need to knit across and then I will be picking up the stitches over here and then we'll come around this way uh, on the next round. Okay, so I did the 17 stitches across and then picked up 13 uh, stitches along this sock. Now I did 17 stitches across on the second sock and picked up 13 stitches along the side here. So now I'm going to be turning my work and knitting straight across the instep. So that's what we're on now. We're on the instep part. Uh, we've already completed the leg um, and uh, we're working on the gusset and uh, we're working on the gussets, which requires a lot of uh, reducing. So on this side, we're just going straight across. All right, last couple stitches here, and now we're done with the inseam here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start picking up the stitches along here. So we're going to try to pick up 13 stitches. You can say hi. Hi, camera. <laughs> well, it's people at home, so you could say hi, everyone. Hi, camera. <laughs> Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Hope you're having a great time, camera. You're goofy. All right, I've picked up and knit 13 stitches on this side, and now I'm knitting straight across uh, to the end of this row. All right, so um, when I do the second sock, I'm gonna be picking up 13 stitches along there as well. Um, and when you finish, it basically looks like this. And here's the hole for the foot, just like that. There's a heel right here. And that's uh, basically what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna pick up the stitches here and knit to the end of this row. I'm gonna put the uh, marker right here. I'm going to put it at the beginning of... Okay. 
Okay, so we have both sides done for the gusset for picking up the gussets. Now we've got to reduce the gussets. So I'm going to be knitting across the instep, and then when I come back around on this side, uh, I'm first going to knit one, and then uh, slip, slip, knit, knit to the last three stitches, um, knit two together, knit, and then uh, knit one, slip, slip, knit, knit to the last three stitches, knit two together, knit one. And I'm going to do that, um, and then knit across the instep. And I'm going to do that for uh, basically until I get back down to 60 stitches. All right, so I am going to uh, see you in a few minutes because I'm going to do that on my own. Okay, so I'm done with the uh, the foot part of it, and now I'm going to move on to the toe. I've knit, um, I, I don't even know how many rows I knit, uh, I just knit until it seemed long enough, and then I continuously uh, put it onto Bridget's foot to see how much is left, um, and uh, basically you want to go until there's about an inch and a half left of the toe. Um, I think I went until there was a, about an inch left of her toe because I want this to be um, a little bit bigger on her so that she she can keep them for a while because she's a kid so she'll grow out of them eventually and she has no little brothers or sisters so uh, no one to pass it down to. So, um, so I'm going to leave it at uh, this point here where um, it's about an inch down from her toe. So what, you, what I need to do next is I'm going to start um, knitting um, and it's going to be the same thing that we kind of did on the gusset reductions where we uh, we knit one, then we slip slip knit, and then knit to the last three, and then knit two together and knit one. Um, and it, we're going to do that not just on one side, but on both sides. And then after that, uh, just like with the gusset, um, I'm going to do uh, the second round will be just knitting all the way across. Um, and then the third round will be the same uh, knit, slip slip knit, knit to the last three, uh, knit two together, knit. And on each, um, the instep and the foot part. Um, so I'm going to do that for uh, 10 total rounds. Um, and then after the the 10 rounds are complete, then uh, there for five rounds after that, I'm going to um, do that same row again where it's knit, slip, slip, knit, knit to the last three, knit two together, knit. And that will be the last five rows will be um, that one. And then by the end, by the time we're done, we should have uh, eight stitches left on uh, each for each sock. All right, so let's uh, start de that. All right, so before I get to the part part where I'm talking about uh, sealing up the the, the toe part, um, here is uh, one of the finished socks, and as you can tell, it's kind of odd looking. <laughs> so let me explain what happened. So um, basically when I de decided to start doing the toe, um, I was quite a bit off. I should have straight up measured her foot because I kind of eyeballed it and I eyeballed it poorly. <laughs> and so I started to do the normal um, reduce row where you're, uh, when you come upon it, it's knit, slip, slip, knit, knit to the last three stitches, knit two together and, and knit, and then doing the same thing on the other side. And then the next row is a straight knit all the way across. And then the third row is a, a reduced row. Well, I got about, I don't know, maybe five rows in when I realized that this was a little too small for her. So I started to try to stretch it out a little bit by doing a few more full on knit rows. Um, and then trying to, you know, cause I think the sock at, is actually supposed to stop right around here, rounding it. So it's already looking stretched out a bit. And, but it's supposed to be more rounded right here at the top and it would be except I was trying to extend the 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 sock as far as I went so it ended up looking quite pointy so it's kind of like a little elf sock <laughs> and and to make matters worse it's a little too small for her anyway and what have I been saying through all these what have I been saying through all these uh 
uh, videos, all these parts, is that, you know, uh, my daughter likes her socks to be bigger. So this ends up looking, this ends up being a little too small for her. Like her foot's, uh, her foot barely fits in here and it, it stretches the sock to her foot. So it's definitely too small. Um, but like I said, I haven't been uh, knitting in a long time. So this was kind of a practice for me. And hopefully I'll do better with my daughter's, uh, my other daughter's socks and I can try uh, another set for Bridget um, sometime soon. It's kind of also the problem with making socks for kids is they grow out of them really quickly. Um, so, you know, it was fun to do and it's basically the same idea um, if... I make another pair of socks. It's just I gotta really pay attention to uh, how much toe is left before I start doing the decreases. So there we go. So um, all right. So the next clip I'm going to um, do the Kitchener st stitch, which is closing up the hole and weaving it in the ends. All right. All right. So we're pretty much done here. So I've got uh, the socks basically completed. Um, all I have got to do is. Uh, do the Kitchener stitch on the end, close up the socks. So what I've already um, cut these away from the yarn balls and I cut about, I don't know, about uh, a foot and a half or so of this yarn. So I had lots to work with. Um, and now I'm going to, uh, I have a darning needle here. It's a blunt needle that, uh, you know, has the eye in there for the yarn. So to do this, I'm twisting this together real tight like that, bending it in half and pushing it through the eye here. All right, so I have it in there. So so the Kitchener stitch is pretty interesting. It's basically a way of grafting the, grafting the uh, remaining stitches off. All right, so first what I'm going to do is I'm using the uh, darning needle as if it were a knitting needle and I'm going to go through and, as if I'm purling this front needle here. Now I'm going to leave that on the needle. Now I'm going to go through and knit as if to knit the back needle here. And I'm also leaving that one on the needle. Now I'm going to go through that first needle again as if to knit. The first time I went through as if to purl, now I'm going through as if to knit. And this time I'm pushing this needle, this stitch off of the needle. And now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take off my marker here. Now I'm going to go through the next needle as if to knit, but I'm going to leave it on the needle. And then through this back one again as if to purl, but this time I am taking it off the needle. There we go. So now I have three stitches on each needle here. And now I'm going through um, as if to knit this back, this back stitch here, but I'm leaving it on the needle. There we go. And now, bringing it over here to the front, then I'm going to put through to as if to knit this one, and I'm going to push this one off the needle, and then, and then purl the next one, purl this one, push off. knit the back one, knit back, leave on. In the front, we're going to knit, slide off, purl, purl front, leave on, Pearl front, leave on. Pearl back. Slide 
slide off, knit back, leave on, whoops, I dropped it, there we go, got it. The last little bit, it's kind of hard because it doesn't want to stay on the needle. Oop, shoot, I dropped the other one too. Alright. Ah! There we go. So, knit, or I mean, uh, purl, or what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> This one was supposed to knit. All right, so knit, knit back, leave on. Knit front, push off. And then the last one is I'm gonna knit this one and push off. All right, so we got the first soft off and basically I'm gonna push it in. Put my hand inside, grab the needle, turn the sock inside out. And then I'm going to go through and uh, weave all of the loose uh, ends in. So I've got a loose end here at the bottom and I've got a loose end here at the top. And I'm going to weave both of those in, uh, turn it right side out, and the sock will be done. But I first have to do the Kitchener stitch on the orange sock, So I'm gonna, the second sock. So I'm going to get that one done and uh, weave in the ends and then that'll be it.